What is going on, everybody? Lil Disnick here in the WWCRP QB Core server. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, spawn in vehicles with all the extras and stuff like that. So I'm sure that you've uh, come across whenever, let's say, like a law enforcement officer goes to spawn in a car over at MRPD. They spawn it in and then have to turn all the extras on and all that stuff. Well, I'm going to show you how to edit, edit the vehicles.meta so that they don't have to do that. So let's uh, let's work on, oops, let's spell that right. Uh, let's see here, I think it's AMRF250. All right, so you can see it doesn't spawn a light bar or anything like that. It pretty much just spawns just the lights on the front. So what would happen is whoever's driving this would have to go in to the vehicle extras, turn them all on, all this stuff. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to turn the extras on that we want, which with this one, we want all of them on. I've already kind of researched that. So we're gonna turn on extra three, extra four. They're just gonna kind of go through these and make sure that they are the ones that you want. And let's turn extra eight off or back on there. Sometimes you'll come across, you have to be really careful about which extras you activate because uh, you'll accidentally deactivate them. Because the way that it's set up default is it'll just spawn in a couple of random extras. And uh, the way then we're going to make it so that it spawns in the extras that we want. So we want all the way through extra one through extra 12 on this particular one because they all look pretty cool. Go ahead and escape out of that. So we want this baby to, to spawn in just like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find this model. Actually, let's DV this real quick. And uh, let's find, we got our AMR pack here. We're gonna open up our vehicles.meta file here and I've already got it opened up in VS code here. I've scrolled down the line. You're going to want, if you have a pack that has several vehicles, you want to make sure that you're working on the correct model. It's going to start with model name and then whatever model that you're working on. This one was about 25% uh, of the way down. And for time purposes, I just went ahead and found it. But we're going to scroll down to the line that says extra includes right down here, number 347. We're gonna delete this little slash here and actually just put it in brackets. And then the next thing we're gonna do on extra includes, we're gonna drop down, we're gonna make uh, some new little brackets here and we're gonna say item. And then all of this is gonna be all in caps and you're gonna separate extra and the number with an underscore. So we're gonna go extra one and then just a space to separate them. Extra two, and then so on and so forth until we get over four. This is the part that's time consuming as hell. Five, only the first time though, cause I'm gonna show you a trick to extra six. I'm gonna show you a trick to kind of shorten it for your next time through. Uh, extra seven, extra eight, extra nine, extra ten, extra eleven, extra twelve. All right, so we've got all of our extras added in right there. Then all we're gonna do, this is my fancy little trick that's kind of stupid, but whatever. We're gonna copy that. And then what we'll have to do now is to, basically it's it's almost kind of like HTML where when you turn something on with the, with the brackets, you have to turn it back off like a light switch. So first we're gonna use a slash to turn it off and then we're gonna go item. Except I'm not gonna do that in caps. <laughs> Hold on, there we go, item. 
and then we're gonna drop down a line and we're gonna turn off the extra includes here. And then you'll see that it pops up just automatically right there. So we're just gonna hit enter and then turn that off. So that's telling it what, what, at what extras it's actually going to be looking for. And then the next one we're gonna edit is required extras, which is th this is gonna be the extras that it's actually going to turn on. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did over there, except we're not gonna do the item part. All we have to do is copy what we had there and then turn off the required extras. So we're just gonna go back and double check. We turned on our extra includes, turned it off, turned on our item, turned it off. Got all of our extras in there. Got all of our required extras in there. Turned it on, turned it off. Doesn't have to be any space or anything like that there. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna hit Control S to save this little guy. And then we'll restart the resource real quick. Restart AMR pack. I'm doing this over in a PX admin here really quick. All right. So now, whenever we get into the server, or whenever we spawn the car in, we're gonna go AMR F250. Got all of our extras on it, automatically. So that's gonna make it so whoever spawns this car in doesn't have to spend a ton of time choosing extras and all that good stuff. Now, I will say that there will be vehicles that'll have extras that you don't want. And even if you don't include those particular extras in the required extras or the uh, the included extras, extra includes, sometimes it'll even randomly spawn those in so they'll have to turn them off. So, but it's a lot easier to have to turn one, maybe two extras off than it is to have to turn 12 of them on. Uh, especially like if you're having to skip around and stuff like that. But... That's pretty much gonna do it here. Just a very quick tutorial. This is something that plagued me for a long time then I figured out how to do it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like, follow, and share if you'd like to see more. And if you'd like to join the WWCRP Discord and come in here and play in the QB Core server, then I'll put a link down there in the description. And as always, I will put a link to my Discord down in the description. So that you can come in if you have any questions or anything like that. I'm always happy to help, but I will see you guys next time. Until then, peace.